Hello everybody, I am Dr. Farhan Zameer, an adjunct professor and academic specialist at Biotechnica Bangalore. For today, we will look into a very important topic which would talk about a concepts of, you know, having a, a degree, completing the education, but where do I find a job? Now, in bioinformatics, finding a job is a bit crucial and that depends on your expertise and the things what you have learned. So, to understand what are the various kinds of companies and startups in bioinformatics in India, we would like to look into this particular video. Let's dive in. Now, the caption for today's discussion is bioinformatic companies and startups in India. So, when I say company, so please remember a company is an entity which has been actually registered under Companies Act, Government of India. So, only then we call it as a company. And a startup is a firm which has actually proved itself with the sustenance for the last seven years and that company or that particular institution or the firm will be called as the startup so this this in this particular video the major emphasis uh, is on the established companies and the established startups and not the the blooming or budding startups so with this as an intent let us look into what exactly is in history of a startup or a company now every company actually starts like this now, if you remember the major discoveries, the major discoveries started with a, a process wherein, you know, somebody believed in themselves, somebody actually believed in somebody else. And also, you know, in a condition wherein nobody believed anybody. So, and under those conditions, many a times a startup has been bought up with an mother idea. And this idea can be either successful or a period of time or it could be totally a flop at a period of time. But however, to prove this concept, the only thing is just to try. Now, only when you try, you know whether a given idea would work. And if you can transform an idea into a enterprise, okay, this will lead into something called a startup. And when you actually run a startup for a successful time in a successful manner, then this becomes a company. Now, as we have seen that every, every sector okay, will undergo a process of evolution. The same thing happened with you know, the technology with healthcare. Now in healthcare, you know, initially, you know, there was one consultant and to the consultant, people were going and approaching and the patient had a particular history and the history was taken into uh, consideration with the paper and the pen and many a times, the card or the prescription would have been lost by the patient. Now, people thought, why can't we treat this as a medical data? Now, this medical data was then transcripted onto a technology. And with the transcription of technology, there comes a system wherein even all the patient related documents would have been properly summarized, cited, and any point of time during the entire course of that particular uh, treatment, the clinician or the patient was having an access towards that particular techno, you know, uh, with that particular records, and this was possible with medical technology. Now, once people started understanding the importance of computers in data sciences, the same thing was applied with the same anomalies and the same logics were actually applied on understanding drugs and the mode of action. So hence, using bioinformatics, a completely new era of biology was being born. So hence, um, uh, you can call it as bioinformatics or computational biology, structural biology, functional biology. All these of omic era was actually uh, got a, a priority. And this is how a new era of uh, technology was evolved using the uh, different independent subjects of chemistry, biochemistry, biology, statistics, mathematics, engineering sciences, and then computer science. So with all this put together, a new branch, which, which gave a paradigm shift 
in uh, medical technology or in healthcare in general was being born and this is mainly a great boon in terms of bioinformatics so the the part the next part of the story is once i have a bachelor's degree or once i have a master's degree where do i approach please remember these are the big players of bioinformatics so you know a lot of research uh, you know uh, goes in in, in 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 the in the in the companies like dnx then seven bridges illumina then uh, gene data solution and then genomatrix so these are like very very big players who are making a boom in bioinformatics but you know as a as a fresher entering these companies would be almost near to impossible because they always require a, a proficiency in a given branch so what do i do so there are few other companies who actually require freshers at various levels or they would require trainees who on which you know uh, the company would invest the time energy labor knowledge so that they would train the uh, the interns and then that they could be promoted as technicians or researchers now one such company is strands so strands normally you know provides a lot of uh, various kinds of services and their foremost services is with gene spring so this is a software which actually uh, combines a lot of laboratories and many a times the patient related information data is been actually centered here so there are more than you know 2000 laboratories worldwide which are using uh, the the tools which have been created for uh, healthcare with strands which 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 defines precision medicine solutions now and other such kind of a company is xcode life sciences so this xcode life actually is very very specific into a gene related concept so what they do is again they are providing the entire uh, uh, sequencing uh, related the whole genome or onto a particular genome now this is related to the healthcare crossing all the categories like gene allergy gene skin gene health nutrition there is something beautifully called as gene fitness precision medicine and also looking into the methylation pattern looking into the traits and personality of a gene or a genome this is the major emphasis which has been given by this company which is called as xcode life the next company which was doing pretty well in terms of bioinformatics is the clever gene the clever gene works on amalgamation of most of the scientific discoveries with you know genetic uh, diagnosis and precision medicine through dna sequencing and very importantly they use this uh, data by interpreting it with ai that is artificial intelligence and machine learning and that's how they have services like genome sequencing epigenome sequencing metagenome sequencing dna rna sequencing and you know single cell expression data so uh, rather than taking a tissue expression data this company provides services for single cell uh, expression data which is one of its unique kind now bd biosciences is the next company which gives an array of facilities and services globally and this are these are mainly involving you know diagnostics and research tool for life sciences uh, scientists or for clinical researchers or for laboratory professionals even for veterinarians which can build uh, data in terms of its basic research in terms of drug discovery development and biopharma so the ultimate aim uh, of bd biosciences is to bring in a lot of technology so that diseases and diagnosis could be managed and other such company is called as the rasa life science uh, informatics so this company is again a bioinformatic company and in in most of the conditions this company is responsible in giving most of the training and courses or internships to lot of students wherein uh, uh, courses such as computational chemistry courses such as molecular modeling stimulation and uh, many such courses in terms of molecular biology computational aided drug design all these courses uh, are been provided as a part of r&d in rasa uh, life sciences the next company which actually plays a very significant role in precision medicine to the last nucleotide is called as an aragen 
Arigen is a company which talks about the genomic data analysis and research, wherein there is a precision medicine focused with a high amount of predictability, then benchmark ability to have a data analyzed at a very, very cheaper cost. And with uh, the existing facilities, they actually bridge a gap between the academia and the industry. So most of the companies uh, such as Aregin uh, would like to train a lot of, you know, freshers you know, which are who are already being trained or being educated in terms of uh, bioinformatics with a bachelor's degree or with a master's degree. Now, uh, other company is the the Brain Pan Innovation Private Limited. This Brain Pan Innovation uh, Private uh, come Innovation Private Limited company it works on an interdisciplinary team which comprises of computational scientists, comp computer scientists, then designers, engineers, mathematicians, and medical professionals. So you know this is truly defining bioinformatics, wherein it is trying to bring everything into one bowl for defining or solving one major issue very importantly with the healthcare industry and very uh, dedicated towards the developing countries. Now, another company is the, the GC and GC stands for Genomic Central and Genomic Central is mainly dedicated towards the sequencing uh, facilities. Both NGS and non-NGS sequencing solutions are being provided by GC. Very importantly, big data analytics and precision medicines are also being provided as services. Now, another uh, uh, important company which may, it is making a boom is Vaidya Mega. So Vaidya Mega is trying to build up algorithm. They are trying to design sequence pattern apart from the regular ones which has been already known and a very important uh, significant contribution by the Vaidya uh, Mega uh, company is to provide pipeline services wherein, you know, it. Uh, they are trying to give the end-to-end -end solution with the metagenomic classification pipelines. And apart from this, they are trying to put up a lot of imaging technologies so that it becomes a boon for a clinician and which will facilitate the easy diagnosis and uh, treatment of uh, the patient for various kinds of diseases, uh, especially using the models of machine learning and AI. And other important company, again, which is working a lot on uh, high-end uh, sequencing data is Kashi Comix. This is mainly uh, dedicated towards understanding the gene expression or the transcriptomic data. And anybody who wants uh, uh, either the services or to get trained under transcriptomic data, is very importantly, the microarray data, uh, both in terms of protein array or nucleotide array, this could this is a company which actually provides services. Now, apart from that, there are a few startups and registered companies which are not that big, but however, they have a significant contribution in bioinformatics, and the list is bigger. And our intention is to make as much as the video as much as you know, you know, informative. So hence, in the with the respect of uh, uh, the time and the interest of the viewers, what we have done is we have listed a, a few companies like Biobase, then CLC, Bio India, Jubilant Life Sciences, Osimum, Siri, Bionom, Shodhika, Biocon, Malin, uh, Cariom, then you have uh, GenBios, Biocons, Molecular Connections, Sami Labs, Thermo Fisher Scientific, Jubilant Biosciences, Biozine, and BioEdge. All these are group of companies who are now having a paradigm shift from the regular production of the pharmaceutical uh, system to a, a pipeline wherein they are using technology, very importantly, computational technology to design and develop drugs. And this could be later validated either using the preclinical models or clinical models. So if you are looking for an internship or if you are looking for any kind of a placement, we at Biotechnica would refer that these are the best companies which will actually help you and give you a platform in designing your career. Now, if you require any kind of further information with regard to your placements or your job related issues, please let us know so that we will make up a, a specific video exclusively explaining what are the requirements 
and how exactly you can enter into a bioinformatic company. So with this, I will take off from you and I wish you that let all good things come to you and have you have a very, very, very bright future and a, and a happy career. Thank you very much. So take care. Thank you.